The invention of the candle can possibly be credited to the ancient Egyptians, who dipped reeds into animal fat and lit them. Today's wax candles provide romantic atmosphere, light when there's a power failure, and when blown out, a grand finale to a rousing rendition of Happy Birthday. At the heart of every candle is a wick made from woven or twisted cotton cord. To stiffen up that limp cord, they run it through a tank of liquid paraffin, a wax derived from petroleum. The cord then passes over a cooling drum whose cold surface instantly hardens the wax coating. The now rigid cord winds onto a spool ready to be cut into wicks. There are several candle making methods, all of which work on the simple principle that hot wax turns hard and white when it comes into contact with cold air or a cold surface. This process is called candle pressing. The hot paraffin travels from the holding tank to a set of sprinklers inside a six meter high refrigerated chamber. The sprinklers shoot the wax upwards into the cold air. Like falling precipitation transforming into snowflakes, the wax droplets transform into wax flakes. They land at the base of the chamber, then travel to a hydraulic press. The press forms them into candles using pressure but no heat and pierces a hole through the middle for the wick. The air in this part of the plant has to be less than 25 degrees Celsius or else the flakes will melt and stick together, jamming the machine. Now the candles travel to the wicking machine, which cuts and inserts a wick into each candle. Another candle making method is the dipping process. They install 96 wicks on each frame of an automated dipping machine. One after another, the frames dip the wicks into a tank of clear paraffin. As the frames rise from the tank, gravity pulls the wax downward, creating a conically shaped coat of wax. By the time a frame has made the circuit and returned to the tank, the wax coat is hard and white. The wicks go for a second dipping, followed by another go-around. This continues until 25 dips later, the tapered candles are 2 centimeters in diameter. To turn these white candles into colored candles, they dip them into a vat of dyed paraffin, then immediately after into cold water to harden the color coat. To produce votive candles, the factory uses an automated molding process. They heat each molding table, flood it with paraffin, then cool the table. The wax overflow compensates for the shrinking that occurs during the 20 minute hardening phase. Once the wax hardens, they scrape off the excess and remelt it to use for the next batch. A pin inside each mold created a channel for the wick. Now another type of automated wicking machine inserts a wick and secures it in place with a metal clip at the base of the candle. They make certain specialty candles on a manually operated dipper rather than by automated machine. These altar candles are made of paraffin and 66% pure beeswax as required by Vatican law. To create their cylindrical shape, the worker has to flip the frames after every dip to equalize the wax. It takes 90 dips to build a 76 millimeter diameter. The candles still come out slightly tapered, so they go through a heated dye to adjust their shape. No longer just a staple of religion, ritual or romance, candles today are a hot decorative item.